Let's talk about near-death experiences, or NDEs for short. Throughout history, there have been accounts of people who witnessed the afterlife and described instances of seeing bright lights, new colors, and observing themselves from outside their bodies. Now, we hear this and think it's pure fiction, but in the medical community, this phenomenon is very real, but shrouded in mystery. So, today we're going to dive into the earliest accounts of NDEs, what medical science has to say about them, and the number of those affected by this strange occurrence. As always, the full resources for this video can be found below. Now, as we mentioned earlier, people who experience NDEs often encounter bright lights, new colors, a distorted sense of time, and in some cases, visions of otherworldly beings, or even religious figures. And these moments tend to occur in the wake of extreme trauma or reverse clinical death. Think cardiac arrest or drowning. Reports of near-death experiences go back thousands of years to as early as the ancient Greeks. In 18th century France, a pharmacist recorded one of the first clinical observations of the phenomenon. He saw bright lights after falling unconscious, and he noted how similar his experience was to reports from other survivors of near-death experiences, like those who had been resuscitated after drowning and hypothermia. It wasn't until the 1970s, however, that psychiatrist Raymond Moody put NDEs on the academic map. After listening to a friend's near-death account, Moody went on to pioneer research in the field, creating the first research center specifically for NDEs, the International Association of Near-Death Studies. In 1983, Bruce Grayson furthered this work by developing the Grayson Scale, a questionnaire to help researchers consistently evaluate near-death experiences and distinguish them from other medical events. Some of the questions medical professionals may ask include, did time seem to speed up or slow down? Did you suddenly seem to understand everything? And did you see or feel surrounded by a brilliant light? These questions and more helped researchers accurately document these mysterious events. Today, dedicated institutions like the Division of Perceptual Studies at the University of Virginia continue to analyze and research NDEs, exploring the boundaries between science, consciousness, and spirituality. So, if we've known about these occurrences for thousands of years and have begun researching them more extensively in recent decades, do we have any explanation for these events? Well, yes and no. British psychologist Chris French has categorized explanations for NDEs into three main areas – spiritual, psychological, and physiological. These theories often overlap, reflecting just how complex the phenomenon is. Let's take the spiritual for example. This is by far the most common interpretation of NDEs historically, as some believe these events are genuine glimpses of an afterlife or spiritual journey, suggesting the soul temporarily leaves the body before returning. This view is partly rooted in cultural beliefs about the afterlife, and is often reinforced by survivors who accurately recall events happening around them while they were unconscious or clinically dead. But then, if we look at the psychological aspect, some psychologists suggest that NDEs are protective mechanisms, generated by the mind as a response to extreme stress. The mind, in this case, may be comforting itself by creating visions that align with culturally shaped expectations of death and the afterlife. From a neurological perspective, some scientists believe the vivid experiences associated with NDEs may result from chemical or electrical activity in the brain. Studies suggest that during moments close to death, a surge of electrical activity occurs, or endorphins are released, possibly generating feelings of calm and even hallucinations. Another theory points to low oxygen levels in the brain, which can trigger sensations like bright lights and a feeling of detachment from the body. Despite extensive research, no single explanation fully captures the NDE experience, leaving the phenomenon open to both scientific and spiritual interpretation. So, while modern science may not yet have a definitive answer for why some people undergo a near-death experience, we have made significant progress in tracking these occurrences, allowing us to gain a deeper understanding. Approximately 5% of the population reports having a memory of a near-death experience. The most frequently described elements include a sense of peace, reported by 80% of survivors, bright lights, 69%, and encountering other beings or spirits, 64%. And while you might think that people with strong religious beliefs are more likely to experience NDEs, research hasn't found a clear connection between religiosity and the likelihood of having one. Interestingly, one study found that nearly half of those reporting an NDE also had a sleep disorder. Medical research has provided additional insights. A Dutch study in 2020 revealed that 18% of cardiac arrest survivors reported having an NDE, while a similar study from New York University found that 40% of people revived by CPR reported experiencing some form of consciousness during their clinical death. 
In the end, the mystery of near-death experiences remains. Despite decades of research, there's still no definitive answer as to why these experiences occur or what they mean. Are they glimpses into another realm or simply vivid creations of the brain in moments of crisis? In the end, only time and research will tell us. But in the meantime, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the topic. And if you or someone you know has experienced a near-death experience, let us know in the comments. If you still have questions and would like to dive deeper into understanding the NDEs, visit the resources below and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.